Hiya, it's Darren of ilkestonwebdesign.com. Leave me a message and I'll get back to you ASAP. Cheers, bye. Hello, Darren, it's Darren. Uh, speak to you later. <laughs> bye. Hello, thanks for watching this video. Today I'm demonstrating a plugin for Skype. It's called Evia. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled E V A E R. And uh, it's a third party Skype certified add on. It's proprietary, which means it's paid for. It's, uh, it's got a license that you need to buy. It was only about £12 or something like that. And you can capture audio or video via Skype. I don't do much video through Skype, but I do do quite a bit of audio, like, you know, podcasts and things like that. The other day I called up uh, GoDaddy support to ask a question, and I actually recorded the, the conversation. Evie is brilliant. It's, it's fantastic. And because with Skype, you can call people for free if they've got Skype. All they need is, like, a headset, and you can actually talk for free. And you can actually capture those conversations. So me and my friend, we produced a podcast um, about design. And we we actually recorded it. It was about 40 minutes long. And we recorded it using Evia because he was using Skype and uh, a, a, a headset. And I've got the Evia plugin. Only one of you needs to have it, by the way. You don't need, both need to have it. Just one of you needs to have it. And then it was me because I was on production duty. Okay, so if I zoom in, you can see that we've got these audio tracks here. I'll just make them a bit bigger so you can see a bit better. This was recorded through Evia. It captured both sides of the conversation. You see, when when you start Skype, what you do is you you connect, you you call somebody in your contacts list. But what happens is you would press record, and it just records the conversation in stereo, and it will capture both sides of the conversation. You see here where it says audio settings, it says record both sides, and if I go to advanced. It's uh, record sound in stereo, so the left and right channels are active, and it can pick up both sides of a conversation. If I go open, this is where all the Evia MP3s are saved by default. By default, a, a folder called Evia is created in the My Documents folder, and this is where the MP3s are saved to. Now, usually, what I do is I'll I'll right click it and I'll go cut and then I'll go into my project folder and I'll paste it in and here it is this is the mp3 that me and my friend recorded and from there I was able to edit it inside um, Sony Vegas and it is it does bring in both sides of the conversation let's play this so we can get an idea of the the audio quality I mean, the, the bigger picture is you, you need to have a strong logo. You need to have a yeah. strong identity. And I think, especially for small and medium-sized businesses, I think that gets missed. Yeah. Um, and I guess as we look at these other examples you're um, cycling through at the moment, there there, yeah. there are some shocking, <laughs> shocking examples. That, this, this pharmacy one, I mean, that's pretty bad. I mean, goodness <laughs> me. Um, and this the kids exchange one. I mean, something's gone wrong with the uh, the font. So that's an example of the quality that you can expect to achieve with Evia. It's pretty impressive, and it depends on the quality of the microphone that you use as well. Me and Lee were using um, uh, headset mics, like you know, bottom of the range uh, headset mics, and they still gave pretty good results. Now what happens is when you import audio into um, an editor like Vegas or Camtasia, whatever it is that you use to you know edit video audio, what will happen is the audio will be pulled in to one track. Now let me show you. Now this is the original uh, Evia audio. If I grab that and just drag it to a new track. 
what you can see has happened here. Let me let me solo this track actually. Right, so that's soloed now. It's in stereo. I'm on the left. Lee is on the right. You can see that it's not a mono track. If it was mono, that would be a problem because you wouldn't be able to edit the individual channels. So what I usually do is I. This is in Vegas, Sony Vegas. I will right click that and I will duplicate it. So we've now got two copies of the same stereo track. I will click the first track, I'll right click it, and I go to uh, its channels and I go left only. And then on the other track, I'll right click it and um, channels right only. See how quick that was. Now I've got the option to play around with the volume because you can see that his voice is quite a lot louder than mine. And if I was to play that back, I would be very quiet in the mix and he would be very loud. And that's why you need to, you know, play with the settings and, you know, go up and down and find uh, uh, the sweet spot. And of course, on the right hand side here, you've got your master control, your your output control. So you can you can normalize the sound and get it up to an acceptable level anyway I'm not going to go into that now because that's probably suitable for another video this is about Evia this is not about Vegas but that's what you can do with Evia now the other thing you can do is record a conversation over the phone and if you do it over the phone it's going to be quite a bit different because well I called up Go Daddy the other day I called them up over the phone see Go Daddy are not on Skype they're on the phone and since I use Skype as my phone system I'm able to actually dial them and talk to them and I I was I called them over the phone and I press record on Evia I was able to import the sound as I just showed you into Vegas and this is what it sounded like originally so I'm going to play you the go daddy phone conversation that I had and I'm going to share with you a technique for getting better quality audio on your end okay so let's press play at the moment there's no service whatsoever on that on that URL um, okay it's something I've done I know that for certain so I'm hoping you can help me with that sure let's take a look here okay uh, the IP address of the hosting is 23.229.206.71. Oh, right, That's the yeah. IP address. Oh, hosting. is it? Okay, yeah, because I checked that one works. But the other one, I've got uh, an A record. Um. So you may have noticed that sound quality was okay. I mean, on his end, obviously he was on the phone. There's nothing I can do about that. But on my end, the sound was a little bit... Mm, not great it was not great and uh, that's probably because you know I was using the telephone system I wasn't using Skype as a uh, you know um, as PC to PC it was a phone call so even the the quality of the audio on my end was a little bit compressed but what I usually do is if I'm using something like Screencast-O-Matic or Vegas I'll be recording um, the audio separately to Evia. So although Evia is running in Skype and it is picking up the conversation between me and the other person, I'm also recording in another program because I know it can pick up my voice and then I can overlay it. Now you see, if I just zoom in a bit, this, these two tracks are the original Evia tracks which I imported and then separated into left and right channels but you see this thing at the top here which I'm going to solo that is the audio that was picked up from Screencast-O-Matic because whilst I was talking to this guy I was actually recording my screen so I could demonstrate you know what was going on to anybody watching the video but that also picked up the the audio so what I ended up doing was was using that audio from Screencast-O-Matic and bouncing down this audio.
So this track here, which is the original track of me talking, which is a bit muffled sounding, a bit low quality, I bounced it down and ended up using this track. Now, yeah, okay, it's a bit of a Frankenstein's monster approach. I, I, I realise that. I know that. Is there an easier way to do it? Maybe. There may be an easier way to do it. There may be a better way to achieve higher quality sound, at least on my end, when I'm talking to somebody over the phone. I don't think Heavy is designed for that. I think what I'm trying to do is push its boundaries a little bit, but this seems to be a good workaround. So if you've got Audacity or Vegas or Screencast-O-Matic or even Windows Sound Recorder, theoretically you can press record in one of those other programs and record in Evia at the same time and then just swap the audio around so you take out your end and put in you know this higher quality um, audio so what we can do now is let's solo those two and let's listen to what that sounds like now and you'll notice that my voice is much clearer in comparison to what I played you previously so let's have a listen to that shall we at the moment there's no service whatsoever on that on that URL. Um, okay. Okay. At the moment, there's no service whatsoever on that on that URL. Um, okay. So, if you want to download Evia, you can do that. Go to evia.com. That's e v a e r dot com, and you can download it. Installation instructions are included, so you'll have to give. Skype access to this third party plugin and if you go to the support link on the Evia website there are some frequently asked questions and these are all quite well annotated with uh, screenshots so for example there's a page here about how to activate the license code after you purchase the full version so you'll have um, uh, your license code um, emailed to you, I think it's emailed to you, and you can copy and paste your user email and license key into Evia and once you've done that the software is active forever. Really worth getting it. Now how much is it? Last time I checked it was about 12 quid. I wonder if the price has increased. Um, 19.95 that's nineteen dollars ninety five cents let's call it twenty dollars and that's just google twenty dollars okay so based on the exchange rate in january two thousand and fifteen that's thirteen pounds twenty one i bought it last year um yeah i got it cheaper the the exchange rate was a bit different so definitely worth getting it you can purchase via PayPal save the receipt it's tax deductible it's a business expense it's a business tool if you're using this for business then you can uh, you can put that on expenses and there's a 30-day money-back guarantee so yeah worth uh, worth a try I think